The app you have been gifted today is one called Notability. It is a note-taking tool. It is a really, really powerful tool and it will help you organise notes for all of your different subjects. It's got lots of really good features too. For example, you can import PDF documents straight into your Notability and you can annotate them, write over the top of them, so forth and so on. So if your teacher gives you some notes in the form of a PDF, it's really easy then for you to write your notes on top of them. In addition to that, you can also record audio straight on top of a note into your notes in Notability. There are loads and loads of features, and I'll show you some of those now. When you first load up Notability, on its very first go, it will take you to a page, like this one, which has got instructions on how to use some of the tools that are in there. Whilst we're in here, I'm going to go through and show you some of those tools as well. Across the top in the centre, you've got a number of different icons. These icons enable you to do different things on your page. For example, the T enables you to type text. The pencil across enables you to use your pencil. The next one is a highlighter. The next one is the rubber. And the next one is the cut tool. So you can, for example, draw around an area like so, and that cuts it out. You can then move it around like you can see here. With each of these as well, if you were to uh, choose them, you can then write with them on the screen. You can highlight them and you can rub them out very very simple in addition to those tools you can also record straight onto your screen as well by tapping the microphone icon just to the right on your toolbar the plus symbol enables you to add in different things such as a photo from your camera roll for you to take a photo for you to add in a figure that you've drawn okay and you can add that in and, and what have you tap done and that will then go into your work and you can move that image around or if you don't like it you can just take it out again in addition to the figure you've got web clips so you can go online and take bits from websites or if you want to you can just create a sticky and put that onto it as well The next option is your spanner, and that enables you to change certain things on your page. So it could be a read-only note, or you can't change it again. You can change the paper, what sort of paper you have as your background, so forth and so on. And there's the built-in help, which you can go to any time, and it's really, really good. The final option enables you to move pages around and bookmark different pages and so forth and so on. When you finish with that, simply tap on the icon again and it will bring them back in again. Underneath, you can see a little arrow that I just tapped on and it brings up your header. And you can change your header if you want to. like so. Just down here on the far right hand side just above the um, zoom tool and the hand tool you can see there's a 1 above a 4 that tells you how many pages you have and what page you're on and you can tap the down arrow to jump a page at a time rather than using your two fingers to scroll down your page you can scroll down a page at a time using that tool there. Let's not forget the arrow just here which is your undo button. So if you make a mistake, you can undo what you've done. The arrow to the left of that is one which enables you to share your note some other way if you want to, and there are lots of different ways in which you can do that. Email, obvious. Dropbox and Google Drive and Box and WebDAV are all different uh, online cloud tools where you can save your notes if you want to. Uh, you can print them 
You can send them to iTunes, so you can copy them off that way. You can email your notes to your teacher. And down the bottom, you have Open In, another app. And if you go into there, you can choose the format that it goes in, uh, either as paper uh, on or off. Let's choose off for now. But Open Note In, and it will process the notes that you've got there and enable you to then open that note in another app. So you could open it in Edmodo to share with the teacher. Or you could open it up and explain everything. That's the app in the bottom left-hand corner there. Explain everything is a screencasting tool uh, that you'll be getting in a few weeks. You can use that to talk over the top of some work that you've done to explain your understanding and knowledge of that particular subject. A really helpful uh, tool there. So there's lots of ways of getting your notes out of Notability if you want to. Now, in addition to having uh, the ability to take notes in here, you can organise them really easily as well. We can do that by tapping on the icon in the top left hand corner. And you then go through to your notes organisation area. Okay, So what you can have then, uh, if you tap on the plus symbol just here, you can have categories and you can have subjects. Okay, and within each category, you can have different subjects. So let's say, for example, uh, I've got geography and done. I've now made a geography folder. I haven't got any notes in there at the moment. Uh, let's just go back onto the plus symbol here then. And I'm going to add a subject, and it's going to be beaches. And just tap onto uh, done. And now I've got beaches in geography. Let's just add another subject and we'll call it uh, weather. And that's another subject within geography. But geography isn't my only subject. I've also got things like maths. So maths category. And in maths I'm going to have uh, trigonometry. Oh no, I've spelt trigonometry wrong. How do we get rid of that? Well, we can simply slide our finger across where it says trigonometry, delete it, and just delete that, and then add it in again. So it's a subject called trigonometry. Done. And it's now in place. You could see a time where all of these folders and subjects within them, or subjects with, with sub-subjects as it were, in, in there, taking up lots and lots of space. Well, you, you'll be able to sort of slide up and down and see all of them. But if you tap on the main category, you can actually um, sort of minimise them down. And there's a little uh, number there which will tell you how many subjects there are within each category. So you can get see that quite easily. As you start building up notes as well, uh, they will go straight into a specific category or, or um, subject, which is fine, uh, or they could be unfiled. At the top, if you go to All, that will show you all of your notes that you've taken. If you go to Unfiled, then it will show the ones which haven't been filed anywhere. Okay, So you can then file them in the correct lesson or topic that you want to within those topics that are there. Again, within this view, there are ways in which you can export things out. So you could export um, sort of loads of notes for sharing by tapping that option at the top there. Um, or alternatively, if you want to bring things in, uh, if you want to import things, uh, you can do so by just importing it from one of those four places there. The most popular online storage uh, is Dropbox and Google Drive. So if you've got either of those, you can connect your account to your uh, Notability and you can bring notes in, bring work in, what have you from those places straight into Notability for you to use there. So how do you go about creating a new note? Well if you just tap on the top right hand corner and then it brings it up. Notability is ram jam pack full of different features. If you find anything extra to what you're being shown here in this little uh, demonstration uh, please don't hesitate to let me know, I'd love to learn new tips Fantastic tool, Notability. Going to really help you organise things for your different subjects and so forth and so on. Thank you very much.